Hello everyone, welcome to day four of Sound Things To Do for five days in lockdown. Uh, I'm Joe, I'm one of the leaders at Albert's Place on a Thursday evening, um, and day four is called In and Out, and it's kind of about looking at the whole chapter rather than just one or two verses. So I've already read Psalm 145 a few times just to myself, and I'm going to read it again uh, with all of you. So you can read along or just listen, it's up to you. I will exalt you, my God the King. I will praise your name forever and ever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation commends your works to another. They tell of your mighty acts. They speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty. And I will meditate on your wonderful works. They tell of the power of your awesome works and I will, and I will proclaim your great deeds. They celebrate your abundant goodness and joyful singing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. All your works praise you, Lord. Your faithful people extol you. They tell of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your, of your might, so that all people may know of your mighty acts and the glorious splendour of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises, and faithful in all he does. The Lord upholds all who fail, and lifts up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them the food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and faithful in all he does. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears the cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak in praise of the Lord. Let every creature praise his holy name forever and ever. Amen. Well, believe it or not, if you've heard the song, the very first thing that struck me when the first time I read it was verses 9 onwards for about four or five verses the Lord is good to all he has compassion on all he has made um, which is if you weren't aware verse 8 the Lord is gracious and compassionate which is an amazing song um, um, there's especially a version I think it's by Vineyard I'll try and send you guys a link somehow um, but it's an incredible song, you know, it's electric guitar, saxophone solo. It's, it's an amazing, um, amazingly orchestrated song and it's just such a passionate and powerful um, song. And it's sung and it, the words are just so beautiful in that and they literally just echo what's written here. And I, yeah, I think that's a, an amazing way of listening to this song would be to listen to that song. And that was, I think that will always be the first thing that jumped out to me in this song. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then the second thing that... Um, the second time I read this, the thing that the verse that popped out to me was verse 18. Uh, the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Because I feel like it's easy sometimes to just look up to God almost in sarcasm at certain points and just uh, call on him for things when we may not truly mean those things in our heart. Um, but God knows what's on our heart. He knows our heart's most intimate desires and he knows... Um, when we're being sincere, he knows when we're seeking truth and when we're speaking um, from a place of truth. Um, and so, yeah, I just think that's uh, such a cool image of God's sovereignty to know that he knows exactly what we um, feel and when we mean truly what we're saying um, when we're speaking to him. Um, and actually, the last thing that hit me uh, when I was just reading that was the last verse, my mouth will speak in praise of the Lord, let every creature praise his holy name forever and ever. And that reminded me, I think it's um, towards the start of Revelation, um, chapter three or four, where it talks about um, people in heaven singing, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Um, and that's always been a sort of a, a really cool image for me, because there's a lot of imagery in Revelation, but um, the idea of in heaven, people singing, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty forever and ever. Um, and actually that is also a song called Revelation Song. So that's another cool way of listening to sort of the idea of people singing God's praises for all eternity is to listen to that song as well. So we'll try and uh, link both of those songs as well. 
don't know, that was what I got from reading this psalm a few times and spending a few minutes meditating on it um, and just reading it then with you. So uh, I hope that you have found it helpful and I hope that when you give this a try, you can get something from this too. Bye.